Well, everyone, today I passed exam P. Now, most of you are probably asking, Bobby, what's exam P? Thanks for asking. Exam P is an incredibly difficult test in advanced probability that is given by the Society of Actuaries for people who are looking to enter into the actuarial field. And it, when I say it's very hard, it is very hard. Uh, people who are math and statistics majors take it after studying for months, and the pass rate is still in between 40 and 50%. Now, just to give you a little background on my journey with this test, I first heard about it in around April 2015 and just glanced at the material and thought, oh, pff, that's impossible. That's too difficult. I can't, I can't do that. I was a math major, but I was a pure math major. I had never taken a statistics or a probability class. And then for a while, it kind of left my mind. And then around two and a half years later, in around November of 2017, I looked into it a little more seriously. And I thought, hey, you know what? These exams, they're really challenging and they're a really impressive credential to have on your resume. Even if I don't go into the actuarial field, it's a nice credential. So the first one is exam P, probability. And I bought the manual that I have right here. I bought this, the Actex exam P manual. And I went to the library a few days in a row and I went through the first two out of 10 sections and it was a grind. Like it was really tough for me. I had never seen anything like it before. And again, this is somebody who had majored in math. I was like blown away by how new and difficult this was. So like an idiot, I registered for the exam in March of 2018. And these exams are really expensive. So I registered for the exam in March of 2018 and I figured, ah, it's four months away, I'll study, I'll have it down, it'll be great. Sure enough, I cannot for the life of me break past the third section. I go through the first three sections over and over and over again on general basic probability concepts and I just cannot do it. And then the exam comes, I go to take the exam, I'd never made it past section three out of 10, so there's no way I'm passing. I go, I flop, I fail, get a zero, and then Again, it just left my mind. I let this manual sit in the corner for almost a year. Then uh, December 2018 comes by, around nine months later, and I start taking it a little more seriously. I start thinking about it. And I, and I look back through the first three sections, and I redo the problems from them, and I find them a little easier, so then I move into section four, and it kills me, and I can't do it. I just, I don't know what the problem is. I simply can't do it. March 2019, I find Bray Nicole, etchedactuarial.com. Bray Nicole is the reason why I passed this exam. Bray Nicole uh, has a study strategy program on her website that I will link to in the description, where if you pay her a certain fee per month, it's a little expensive, but I'll get to that in a bit. She will develop a day-by-day -day study schedule for you of exactly what problems you need to do, how much time you need to spend on them, and what practice you, and what you need to read in order to pass. And she is so confident that you will pass if you do what she says, that she guarantees 100% that you that she will pay for your exam registration fee if you fail and do everything she says. So I signed up for her program around the end of March of 2019, and she advised me to go through the manual day by day, and she told me exactly what to read and what problems to do. I went through this whole manual, not always sure what I was reading, but I did it anyway. I just plowed through, and then I proceeded to fill up not one, not two, not three, but four notebooks and clipboards filled with practice problems and then these other miscellaneous sheets that I filled up front and back. There are some sheets of, of, of notes that I've studied 50, 100, 150 times I've probably looked over. I spent in between two and three hours every day for the past four months nearly uh, studying for this exam. Uh, I did everything that Brian Nicole told me to do. Uh, by the end, uh, I was in the last month or so, I was taking practice exams on ADAPT, which is a website that uh, gauges how well you do. And they say that if you make it to what's called level seven, you have over a 90% chance of passing. I made it to that after about seven or eight exams. I was at a 7.2. And they say that if you make it to that level, you have over a 90% chance of passing. So I was feeling pretty good when I reached that level a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
again, I, I was so nervous though because I had known about this exam for over four years. I thought it was impossible in November of 2017. I failed so hard in March of 2018. I was just, I was absolutely, you know, I, I was getting palpitations going into the exam room this morning because I was just, I, I was so, I was so scared because I kept pass, I was passing all the practice tests, but I was still thinking to myself, what if they ask stuff that doesn't make any sense? What if they ask stuff totally out of left field? What if they ask to totally random questions that they've never asked before and I don't know how to answer it? Um, but my fears were uh, allayed when I walked into the exam room and this morning and I opened up the exam and I was able to breeze through the questions. I mean, I absolutely demolished this test. Thanks to Brian Nicole and Etched Actuarial, I did, and by the way, I am not sponsored in any way by Brian Nicole and Etched Actuarial, just wanna say that. This is just me purely thanking Brian Nicole and her program from the bottom of my heart that I don't think I would have been able to pass if it wasn't for her study strategy program. But th this exam was just like a Mount Everest for me and being able to pass it was, it, I mean, I actually shed a tear when I finished the exam and clicked end and a message came up on the screen and said, congratulations, you've passed. It was the single most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. I've spent more than 300 hours studying for this exam and to have passed it means the world to me. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna start studying for the second exam and I will, you can bet that I'll be using Brian Nicole's uh, study strategy program for uh, the second one as well. But this is just such a, a weight off my shoulders. Like I've been carrying this for years now thinking that I couldn't do this. And there's a quote from Nelson Mandela where he said, everything seems impossible until it's done. And now this is finally done. I can finally burn all of this. I can finally put this manual away for good and I can look to the future. So I am so thankful to Actex and Bria Nicole and uh, everyone on her forum that helped me out. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I would have been able to pass it if it wasn't for that. So thank you guys. I'm super happy, super happy uh, and proud that I was able to pass. And um, yeah. I, I will uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.